actually CPAC this year was, um, I would say, not just restrained uh, and responsible, but I would also say um, many respects were impressive. There were panels uh, talking about conservative perspectives on 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 Im improving people's lives and uh, different policy uh, objectives and strategies. Um, then, no, uh, I mean, come on. Trump Jr. April Fools. Yeah, let's start with Trump. Yeah. Uh, also, people got really wasted. <laughs> it seems like it's kind of his permanent state of being, though. There was, uh, when we first started the majority report, um, I built some type of wheel, I think it was. And we would spin it, and maybe it was three wheels. And we would, uh, to describe the latest Thomas Friedman um, uh, column, and one would be uh, which metaphor he was going to use. And the other one would be uh, which antidepressant he was on to, uh, to, <laughs> to keep himself from feeling bad about what was going to happen to his career when Iraq went awry. And then I can't remember what the third one was. But, you know, and we would spin it and then just go like, oh, it's the rickshaw and the Wellbutrin. And, um, and maybe it was the topic of the thing I can't remember. Um, and then when, uh, I directed a fake reality show, there was a member of the cast, I'm not going to say who, um, whose performance was influenced, in my opinion, based upon what drug that person had taken that morning, early morning. Sometimes I suspected it was something that was snorted because of they would occasionally just get a bloody nose oh or other times they were really really friendly and i thought hmm this reminds me of talking to someone who was on ecstasy and then other times they would just be a little bit i don't know introspective and that reminded me of someone who was on pot smoking pot not on pot anyways I don't know why I bring that up, but here's Donald Trump Jr. at CPAC. You know, Texas has always led the charge. Well, till about like a couple months ago, and then Austin sort of took over. Like, I don't know, guys. Like, Texas was leading the charge. You're still top 25. But we got to work on that stuff because those people have lost their minds. Right? The people's I was trying to think of like what Can we have a, lo a longer version of that? Can we find a longer version of that? That just he's he is uh I'm 80% sure he's coked out. But No, you're not. You're I'm not, not a, a drug doctor. Kind. You're not a drug kind. This is completely I'm your sorry. Opinion. Yes, it's and... completely my opinion. I shouldn't say that. Um you know, I don't know. I, or just, you know, maybe even he's just trying to act like that. Um but uh, I, I should say also, he reminds me of like Job from Arrested Development. That's what it just put me, put it together for me. The way he talks. I mean, Will Arnett. Yeah. He's, he, there's like a Will Arnett, like kind of nervous quality to him. Yes. I will say this. I read that Vanity Fair piece about Gavin McGinnis and, uh, it said that he had an Adderall addiction. I don't know why I brought that up. Yeah, why are you bringing that up? I have no idea. I'm just talking about that Vanity Fair piece. Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.